Good morning and welcome everyone. I hope you guys are all enjoying these wonderful presentations, which I'm sure will have many more to come. I'm Saad Malik, the CTO and co-founder of Spectral Cloud, and I'm delighted to be here to talk to you about edge computing. Edge computing continues to be a true innovation in the Kubernetes ecosystem and something that Spectral Cloud is truly honored to sponsor this fantastic event. So every year, as part of our contribution to the industry, we like to conduct an independent research uh, called State of Kubernetes, where we look across all the various production Kubernetes deployments. And we have an emphasis on edge, taking a look at how practitioners are using edge. As I'm sure it's not a surprise to none of you guys here, 97% of organizations are already thinking about edge or doing edge, where more than half of the respondents are either in pilot or in full production edge deployments. So what I'd like to do today is actually spend a little bit of time looking across different verticals, how different organizations are tackling edge. What are some of their specific use cases? And also what are some specific challenges that they face? When it comes to healthcare, Spectra Cloud is working very closely with customers like Rapid AI and GE Healthcare. Uh, these organizations are building the leading generation medical devices. Think things from CT scanners, MRI machines, patient monitoring devices. All of these devices have local compute and embedded uh, local compute that's running AI models. Now, for GE and Rapid AI, along with security, their biggest challenge, their biggest concern is on compliance. All the different data that they collect is patient information. And due to very strict government regulations, it's very important for them to protect that assets at all costs. We're also working very closely with an organization called Densupply, which is building the leading generation of x-ray machines for dental. And for them, the number one concern is being able to minimize risks and errors. When they deploy their solution into different dental practices around the world, they're actually deploying across different network configurations, different infrastructure configurations. So how do they actually maintain a, a, a better experience and not have, minimizing as many errors as possible? Because ultimately, having a secure and stable environment right, will definitely lead to better patient outcomes. Uh, moving to a different vertical in oil and gas, uh, we think of our customer Dover fueling stations. Uh, what they build are really cool smart pumps and applications that are deployed across different fuel stations around the world. For them, top of mind is minimizing the cost when it comes to edge deployments. So they have low touch, single node deployments across all these different fuel stations. Um, and again, they have thousands of deployments around the world. They wanna also be able to have observability and metrics and how all these different fuel pumps are operating. We're also working with Williams, which builds these really cool monitoring solutions for oil and gas rigs and mining rigs. And for them, the key aspect is being able to have portability when it comes to type of workloads. They want flexibility to not only have container-based workloads, but also VM-based workloads as well, all from a single platform. And in agriculture, a lot of innovation is happening with Tevil Aerobotics. Uh, they built some really cool autonomous robots, which are able to collect fruit from a tree or from a branch. They're able to have robots that apply pesticides. They're even able to prune uh, older trees and branches automatically. Uh, for them, their actual core IP is the AI models that detect the fruits that are able to do the operations. So they want to be able to protect those models from any kind of tampering. Um, they, they need guarantees that the way they operate these robots is that the physical security is guaranteed by the actual, uh, by the actual physical hardware. Um, the robots also work in a multitude of different connectivity, everything from connected use cases to intermittent use cases to also no connectivity. So being able to support across all these operations seamlessly. Now, so how do we help our customers right, overcome these challenges and requirements? Well, the truth is, is everybody here in this community, we're all building solutions together to make this a reality. At Spectra Cloud, we're focused on a, key, a few key different areas, uh, one being on security. We're working very closely with Intel on something called the Secure Edge Native Architecture, which talks about how do you do everything from onboarding to provisioning and management of edge devices at scale. 
Uh, right now, we're working with Intel to really deliver on aspects like measured boot, trusted boot, and also full disk encryption. All of these capabilities are built into our open source project called Kairos, uh, which is freely available for everybody to try and use. Uh, we're also extending and using the best of, te best of technologies in open source. Uh, we are leveraging Kubert to be able to have declarative management and provide a single platform for both container and VM-based management. On Prometheus and Grafana, we've embedded all of their observability and metric capabilities into our edge-optimized dashboards. And our local AI projects is uh, really taken off from a GitHub star perspective. We're leveraging it to be able to provide compliance uh, requirements for any large language models. It is also the basis for our Palette Edge AI capabilities. Finally, we continue to enhance our product and capabilities, you know, working with our customers when it comes to supporting any connectivity model, you know, beyond even day one operations. And again, the painful aspect of being able to manage across different vendors and network configurations, how do we make it as simple as possible and tr troubleshooting as free as possible? And finally, when it comes to deployment options, we're also extending it to have what's called a two-node HA solution. So you can have a full Kubernetes production cluster with only two nodes, and again, significantly reducing costs for our customers. This does wrap my, my presentation, but if you are interested in any of these technologies or any of the talks, uh, please feel free to scan the QR codes. Uh, we will be having presentations in KubeCon uh, this week. Uh, we also have our entire leadership team here. We have our VP of product, Cornelia. We have our CEO, Tanri Fu. If you have any questions about the use cases or our technology, uh, please come and talk to us. On behalf of Spectra Cloud and CNCF, have a wonderful event. Thank you so much.